to Fashion Sewing Blog TV, I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to identify different types of zippers. The first thing to look at are the teeth. You can get them as a nylon or they can be a metal. And it will all depend on your sewing project which one you will choose. So what does a zipper consist of? Well first of all it has tape which is referred to as a zipper tape and it's made of fabric. And at the top here we have a slider and on the slider is this little tab and we use that to pull the slider down and up and at the top here we have thicker teeth here which are referred to as stoppers and that will stop the zipper from coming off at the top and if I pull all the way down I'll just stop there we'll find a thicker stopper between the two tapes and that will stop the zipper from coming off at the end these zippers are what are referred to as a regular type of zipper the first one you can put into pants or trousers and it comes in various lengths you can also put this into a skirt and it's the same as any other zipper, functions the same way. And you can also get it in a longer length, which you will use in a dress, for example. For more heavyweight fabrics, you may want to consider using metal zippers. They are, they are heavier in weight and also perhaps they're a little bit stronger than using a nylon zipper. And here we have a zipper that's referred to as an invisible zipper. That's mainly because once you put it in the seam, you should not be able to see it. And if I just pull the slider down, you can also see, you really can't see the teeth. The teeth are on the reverse side. And that is how you can identify an invisible zipper. This is referred to as a dual purpose zipper and you mainly find it on outerwear. It has a stopper up here and the reason why it's called a dual purpose zipper is that at the end of the zipper you find this little box here which means it can be separated. So bring it right to the end and then take it apart and then in order to zip it back up it back into position and then you have your zipper intact. This zipper is very similar to the previous one where it's open-ended but this is a reversible zipper and it has a flip over tab so if I just get the tapes in my hand here and pull this down and pull it back up again and then I'm going to turn the zipper over so remember it's a reversible and I get the tab again hold on to the tapes and pull and there you have your reversible zipper you may find other zippers on the markets but what I've shown in this video tutorial are the ones that you mostly use in your sewing projects don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put them in the comment box below and I will see you next time.